Hey, it's time for Move It Monday. Often we hear stories about the fountain of youth or ways to reverse or stop the aging process. Well, this morning we're learning you don't have to go on a magical quest to look and feel <laughs> younger. I mean, you can still go on a quest if you like, but sure, you know, we won't just not for you. this reason. Yeah. The key, simply exercise. Sherry McMillan is the owner of Northwest Personal Training, and she joins us live now with tips on reversing the aging process. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. All right. So uh, what, what secrets, what tips do you have in <laughs> store for us to, to yeah. keep that age in the, in the rearview mirror? Well, the most important thing is you have to remember that exercise is, exercise is medicine and movement is energy. And so as we age, we tend to start to round forward. Our shoulders start to round forward. Our back starts to round forward. Mm -hmm. And so we start to get that sort of kyphotic hunchback posture as we age and that's because we're just not doing exercises or stretches to counteract that posture so it's really important that every day we do movements and especially since the pandemic where many of us are having work at home right doing mm -hmm. this is your pose all day right. long yeah. i mean i just do that naturally anyway whether it's over a computer or a mm -hmm. phone you're just mm -hmm. kind of here exactly so I have some stretches and exercises that we're gonna to do today. The first one, you probably don't have this readily available for you, but I encourage our audience to, if they can, budget for a stability ball. So you can see this ball that I have behind me, just a big round exercise ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have it close to your desk at work or your office, or just at the end of the day or multiple times throughout the day, you just start by sitting on it and then you slowly walk your feet forward and then let your head rest and then just open up, oh, right? So your arms, nice. palms open and just relax your head, relax your neck and shoulders and just counteract all those forward forces and just stretch out those really tight internal rotators in the front of your body because that's what causes you to round forward, which we don't want. Yeah, now, that just, that sounds it, it, it so nice. It makes perfect just thinking sense. About yeah, just looking nice at it. A nice chest stretch there. Ah, yes. And you don't have, everyone has these, right? Just a couple pillows mm -hmm. that you can play. Mm -hmm. and okay, we'll do that. Yeah, this this we one we pillows. can do. We're going to join you for this one. Yeah. Grab, pillows, grab, your pillows, grab your pillows and place them right at about the level of your shoulder blade. Okay. Then let your head rest and take your arms over your head. And you can just vary the positions of your arms from right up to the side, over your head, and just let your head relax and just open up through your chest. My back pops. Oh, I was going to oh. say, my back just cracked. <laughs> <laughs> it is such an easy, simple thing to do. I would suggest, you know, anyone who's watching and anyone who's really conscious of wanting to improve their posture and minimize their back strain and neck and shoulder pain is at the end of every day and multiple times throughout the day, grab some pillows, lay them out on the floor and just release that stress that we all have as we sit forward all day long. That you know, Jenny's really nice. going to come in here for the noon show, and I'm going to be laying on pillows like this. I'm <laughs> like, just are you releasing my yeah. tension. No, I'm not sleeping. I'm just stretching. I had to stretch. Right. Yeah, that's the most important thing. You can't fall asleep if you're working. <laughs> <laughs> so now what I want you to do is just lie flat on your back on your mat. Okay. okay. Okay, so this is a very gentle, easy way to not only stretch your internal rotators, but also strengthen the muscles in your mid-back. So start with your arms at your side, palms up. Okay. Okay. And then all do is press your arms into the ground oh. and I want you to press and I want you to hold for a few seconds. So you're going to press, press, and then relax hmm. and then press, press and relax. So while you're doing this, you're strengthening those muscles that are going to pull your shoulders back and help to elongate your spine while you're stretching your internal rotator. So you sort of get double whammy, you stretch and you strengthen. Yeah, yeah so that's, you, that's you, one it of for, those. That forces you to use your like back and shoulders right. to, to push your arms into the ground. It's one of those moves where it doesn't look like a lot's happening, but it is, it's, it's all totally. internal, yeah. It's gentle because gravity is assisting you. Yeah. And then you can change angles. For example, put your hands over your head oh, and do, do the same thing. thing. Do the same thing, press into the ground for a couple seconds, oh. press, press. Oh, yeah. And some people are so tight that they can't even get, you know, their hands to the ground. Right. I, I can't so, get my whole right. arms to the ground. I can get my hands, but like my whole arm doesn't even this touch the ground. A, this is this a is, good this move. This is what I need. Have. I need to do this. Yeah. Travis, this is a good test for you because if your elbows are really lifted and you're having a hard time really extending your arms, uh -huh. that tells you that tells you that your internal rotators are really tight, and so we need to stretch them out. It's really important. 
Oh. That's great. All right, so I'm going to do this for a while, and then we need to get you back on in a couple of weeks say, and check my improvement. I'm going to let... I'm going to let Travis keep working. We'll see how his arms are. But uh, these are great. We're oh. a little tight on time. So we got to let you go, Sherry. But these are some great ones to get started. And, and yeah. we should do another another posture segment again soon. And again, easy to Absolutely. do at home. Tons of good stuff we can do right from home. Yeah, Fantastic. that's great. Sherry, thank you. Yeah, Sherry thank McMillan you. from Northwest Personal Training. We'll see you back here again soon. Have a good one. And if you're interested in reversing the aging process with some help from Sherry or some trainers at their gym, mm -hmm. you can go to nwpersonaltraining.com for more info we need to keep oh. working i gotta work well, on when you're flurry. done you can just use the pillows for their intended purpose which go. is just uh, work so hard See today you tomorrow